In this video, I'll show you how to add multiple different shipping address on your WooCommerce store. You might want to do this because you might have corporate customers that want to ship different products to different branches, or you might have customers that's purchasing your item as a gift on behalf of someone else and want to ship different items to different addresses. So with this simple plugin, I'll show you how you can cover all those use cases. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for example, I've got two items in our basket here. And if we proceed to the checkout page, when we scroll down, if we click ship to different address here, we've got the option to add an additional address that we want to ship to. For example, I've already done one beforehand. And if I select this option that we do want to ship to multiple addresses, I can say, for example, I want to ship this hat to this address here. And then for the bike, we want to ship it to this address here. So if we scroll back up, we can see that shipping this hat to our US address will cost $8.05. And then shipping the bicycle to our UK address will cost $23. And we can just go ahead and pay. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, I'll leave a link to the plugin we'll be using in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. This video is based on this article here. So I'll leave it in the description below so you can follow along with the written version. So the first thing we need to do is navigate over to plugins and then add new. And we need to install the multiple shipping address of plugin by theme high. Let's activate. Now let's navigate over to WooCommerce and then manage address. Okay, and now we just need to make sure we enable multiple shipping address here. You can enable multiple billing address. And the reason you might want to include this is let's say, for example, customers got multiple different cards which are registered in different location. Then they might want to save their billing address based on the card that they're using so they can quickly pre-fill that information. So that's why you might want to consider enabling that multiple billing address. But again, for this video, we just want to make sure we enable multiple address for shipping. Then we can choose the display type so we can set it as a drop down or we can add it as a pop up. So we'll have a look at both options in a second. And then for the display style, we can add it as a link or a button. Yeah, my personal recommend just setting it as a button for now. OK, and then we just want to make sure we enable this option. I should note that this only allows customers to ship to two different locations. If you want unlimited options, then you do need to upgrade to the pro version. And then here we can enable multiple shipping address for variable products as well. So let's just hit save changes. OK, so now let's head over to our shop page and let's test this out. OK, so on our checkout page, we don't see that option. And that's because I'm using a 2024 um, WordPress theme. And this is using a block based checkout design, which isn't compatible with the current plugin that we use. And it's not compatible with most plugins at the time of recording this. So let's head back over to our dashboard and we're going to actually change the theme so we can use the older checkout short code. So let's head over to themes, activate this one. OK, and then let's head back over to our checkout page again. All right. And so now when we select ship to a different address, since we've already saved this new address to our address book, we can ship to either this address or this one here. So let's click um, ship to different address and then we can select which product we want to ship to each address. So, for example, we can set this one to this address here and then maybe we want to ship the bike over to this address and then we can just go ahead and pay. As you can see, the shipping fee is also different based on the address as well. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box.